All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do your eBay postage. Now this is super, super simple, super, super basic. It really does not need a tutorial, uh, but for some of you new sellers out there, somebody that's never sold on eBay before, uh, I've had a few comments actually recently from people saying, how do you do it? Uh, so this video is just so you can get an idea of, of how to do it. But as I said, it's, it's crazy, crazy easy. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Uh, if you're thinking, why should you listen to me? I've done over a million dollars worth of sales on eBay now, and I've taught hundreds of people my secrets, uh, many of which are now making multiple thousands of dollars and pounds every single month. So there's three ways that I've done my postage in the past. Uh, the way that I do it now, I'm gonna show you later. Uh, but the, the the first thing, like the easiest way to do it when you first start out, you haven't got a printer, maybe you haven't even got a computer, you're just doing your eBay off your phone. The easiest way to do it is just to write the person's address on the envelope, um, go to the post office, buy some stamps, stick the stamp on there, done. Uh, so let's jump into my PC and I will show you more. So this here is my demo account. This used to be my main eBay account back in the day, but I made the mistake of sharing uh, with people what I sold and it kind of killed the store. This store here used to make me 100 grand a year in profit and um, I basically showed people on my course what the store was and I shared it quite openly on YouTube. Uh, it just led to loads of people copying all my listings and it killed my store. So I've had to start a whole new store now. So I'll just use this store here now just for demo purposes. But I'm still going to blur stuff out because I do want to use this store again one day. You know, I've got a lot of feedback built up on this store here and um, I do want to use it again one day. So I'm not going to put it out there, all the details and everything. And not only that, I've got a customer details on here that I've got to hide. So if you're wondering why stuff's blurred out, that's why. So postage method number one, uh, if you haven't got a printer. So first of all, you want to log into your eBay account. Uh, so then once you're logged in, click up here on my eBay. Uh, then you want to come down here, click on sold, and it'll come up with all the items that you've sold. Uh, so if you haven't got a printer, the easiest way to do it is just click on here where it says more actions, uh, come up to view all the details, and you've got the customer's address here. So get yourself your mailbag. Uh, and just by hand, just write on there the address. By the way, these padded mail bags, they come in many different sizes. So this here is my most popular size, CO, and another size I use quite often is these ones here, which is an E2. And you can buy them in these big boxes here of 100, look. And here's all the different sizes that you can get. So I've got a whole load of different sizes, and the best place to get these from is actually eBay. And while we're up here, this is where I store my eBay inventory. It's a bit of a mess at the moment. It's sort of mixed up with some of my YouTube stuff as well. And here's some more packaging materials, like cardboard boxes and stuff, all different sizes. But I tend to stick more to the smaller stuff that you can send out in these sort of mail bags. It's a lot simpler. It's a lot easier. You can just post them through the letterbox, and it just takes up the storage space as well. Get the item, shove it in the shove it in the bag, seal it up, it's done. So now you could either have a book of stamps at home, you know, maybe you can buy a few stamps in advance. All you've got to do is stick the, the correct amount of stamps onto your parcel, and then all you've got to do is just take it down the road and drop it off in a post box, a mailing box, or you could take it to the post office and drop it off there. Uh, or if you haven't got any stamps, you could just take it to the post office and um, buy the stamps there, stick them on there, there and then, and they're just going to take it. So that's probably the easiest way to do it if you haven't got a printer. Now, if you've got a printer, things get even easier. So, we're back in my eBay, undersold. Uh, we want to find the item that we've sold, shove it in the mail bag, and then we want to come over here and just click on print postage label. Now, first of all, you want to select the service that you want to use. Depending what country you're from, this can vary. So here in the UK, this is how our layout looks like. In the US, it's very, very similar. Other parts of the world, it's going to be slightly different, but it's pretty much the same principle. Uh, so first of all, you want to put in your weight, and I've already uh, weighed mine, uh, so mine is 0 0.1 kilograms, or of course, you could go on here, select grams, 100 grams. Uh, next, we want to select what size parcel we have. So this one here is a large letter. Uh, then it comes down here with a price. Select what service you want to do. I want to do first class because that gets it there the quickest. Uh, £1.15. Confirm and pay. And then all you've got to do is click on here, print, and that is it. Boom. Done. And it's all paid for. The money's taken from your PayPal account. 
Uh, so now all you gotta do is stick the label on, take it down to the post office, done. Now printer wise, I've just got a regular office printer, laser printer, uh, but you could get yourself one of these thermal uh, label printers, so it's gonna make it a little bit neater. But you know, I don't do this postage method anymore. Uh, I'll do it with a franking machine. I'm gonna show you a bit more of that in a bit. So here we've got our label, just freshly printed out. Now this is just on a normal piece of paper. So we can just go ahead, put a bit of tape on there. And then just stick it on top of your parcel. Boom. Now to make things even easier, you can get this sticky label paper stuff here. So you can print it directly onto the label, just peel it off and stick it straight on. It just saves you messing about with tape. And now all you gotta do is take it down the road, drop it off at your local post office or just in a normal letterbox. Now I do my postage slightly different. I've got a franking machine. Once you sell about 30 or 40 items per day, it, it becomes more worthwhile getting one of these. I mean, the postage is gonna be slightly a little bit cheaper and obviously the more stuff you ship out, the more money you're gonna save. Uh, also, you save yourself a whole load of time. You can come into eBay and you can print out all of your invoices in bulk and, and you can print them all out onto this label paper here. So that might be a little bit difficult to see here, uh, but this here, this comes off, look. So the customer address comes on here. There's another little square here with the return address. All we gotta do is stick that onto the item, onto the parcel, and it's done. And then we come over to the franking machine and pretty much, if you don't know what a franking machine is, you just pretty much print out your own stamps. So you set it in here, what you wanna do, pretty much similar to what we did on eBay. Uh, and then you just put your stamp in there, it prints it out bump and you just stick it straight onto the parcel. Doing it this way, especially if you're selling a lot of item, it's gonna save you a little bit of time and it's gonna save you also a little bit of money. So now all we gotta do is drop it off. So here we are just pulling up at the local post office. So we've got two slots here. We've got one here for the stamped mail. So the eBay labels, that is stamped mail or if you put your own stamp on there, so that goes in that one there. Now, if you're doing a franked service, like with a franking machine, then it goes into that one there. That is it, that is our day's work done. Now, obviously, if we're doing this as a proper business, we're gonna be sending out a lot more than just one item. We're gonna be sending out, you know, to start off with, it might just be one or two here and there. But as time goes on, we wanna be sending out, you know, 30, 40, 50 items a day and really, after that, the money really starts flowing in. Now, if you want to know my complete eBay setup, then give me a comment down below and I'll do a, maybe a whole video just showing you the franking machine, the printer that I use, all my parcels and packaging material and all the stuff there. So if you want to see any of that stuff, give me a comment down below. So there you have it. That's how you do your eBay shipping. Super, super easy. Now, if you have a look on this channel, I've done a whole load of videos teaching you the basics of starting to sell on eBay. You know, for many people, they just want to make a little bit of extra money on the side to complement their their nine to five income. But for some people, they really want to take this up to the next level, quit their job and make this their main form of income. And uh, now I've got a paid for program where I'll teach you the exact blueprint, uh, what I use, uh, in order to find products, sell them, list them in a way that we can make more money than the competition. Uh, you know, as I said before, I've, I've now taught hundreds of people my secrets, many of which are making thousands of dollars every single month, you know, I, me, myself, I've made over a million dollars worth of sales now selling stuff on eBay. Uh, so, you know, I sort of know what I'm talking about when it comes to this sort of stuff. So if you're interested, guys, click on the link down below. As I said, it's a paid for program, but if you follow the guide, uh, then you can make that money back almost every single day, depending on how you want to take it. You know, some people are just making an extra few dollars here and there. Other people, they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars out of it, pounds, dollars, whatever your currency is. Uh, so for everybody, it's different. So if you're interested in that, guys, click on the link down below. Uh, and I'll see you over in another video.